it's Rebs Fashion. Today I'm back with another new video and today I'm going to be doing my skincare. I'm going to do the skincare very quickly because I'm going to be starting a new skincare routine using different products and different steps very soon. So I'm going to wear this thing first because we try to be cute. <laughs> so the first thing I like to do is I like to use the water wipes. Something like this, any wipes to be honest, uh, the World Purest Baby Wipe. So it's a baby wipe I use, and I use that to remove my lip color. And then I use the same tissue to clean my eyebrows because today I'm actually using a very strong eyebrow product, which is it's from NYX Gel Brow Product. There we go. So after I do that, I then go ahead and use my Clinique. Take the day off cleansing oil and this is what I have been using as you can see I'm already running out of it so new cleansing oils is much needed but I have been so in love with this product a little goes along the way so I'm very sad to finally say goodbye to this product this is pretty pricey unfortunately I'm gonna just rub that all over my hand and rub my face with it as gentle as I can possibly rub it with around my eyes I use my ring finger and I kind of just gently you know kind of rub it very gently just to remove my mascara this oil is not sore it's not stingy so I just kind of just gently massage my face with it this feels so good I would then go ahead and wash my face with water now just because this is oil doesn't mean it's gonna be hard to take off. This is really easy to take off. As soon as the water touches it, it turns milky and the oil comes off very easily. While my face is still wet, I then go ahead and use a facial scrub which is blemish control and this is really good because it really cleanses the pores around my nose and most of the time my nose pores are so congested and blocked by whiteheads and things and I only use this three times a week and if I don't use this I then just use this soap <laughs> it's a bar of soap and this is Dove but today I'm gonna use this for my face but I focus on my nose just to get rid of all that junk in my pores and then around my cheek area I was wearing makeup today so it's very important for me to scrub and clean my pores. But I'm not rubbing my face hard. I'm doing this like as light as possible because we don't want to like scratch our face either because this is this has particles in it to scrub your face. It's literally the biggest particles I've ever encountered in a facial soap or a facial cleanser. So I try to avoid my eye area because the skin is very thin around the eyes so after I do that I then go ahead and wash it so after you have washed off all of that you just dry your face after that I then go ahead and I use this Escanol and this is the papaya smooth white facial deep cleanser with pure papaya extract and this is micro cleanse I have been using this oh, every other night. I feel like it's quite a strong product. Um, one of my friends uses Eskinol and she has pretty good skin. So I literally just got this idea from her. Oh yeah, what I like to do is I like to use a cotton pad like this. And I like to put the product in the middle of the cotton pad. And I like to fold it in quarters like this as small as possible like that and then I squeeze the middle part just so the liquid goes down to the the very edge of the cotton pad and voila your whole pad is wet and soaked by that product so I just start with my forehead really this helps it renew and smoothen your skin it has niacinamide cleanses your face closes your pores it is also for skin whitening um, if you have seen me in person, my face is actually darker than the rest of my body. And I don't know why, 
Some of my friends have opposite problem. I can't relate to them when they say their faces are lighter than their neck. Unfortunately, mine is totally not. I'm trying to avoid my eyes because this product is super minty and stingy because the neck is dirty. Ew. Ew. So after I do that, I let my skin relax for a little bit. I then go ahead and apply my Super Stay 24 Hours Maybelline Lip Balm. And this is what I look like. I got this for free because I think if you buy a certain amount of things, you get a lip balm and a lip scrub for free. And I got this for free, so I've been using it at nighttime. Only at nighttime, not during daytime, because this kind of has a white cast when you apply it. And then after that, I then go ahead and use my Dermalogica Multivitamin Power Firm. It is an eye cream. That's what I use. Got it for free from the beauty show. Because um, when you buy your ticket at a certain time, you get a free box of goodies. And I got it for free free when I bought my ticket. So smooth and creamy. Right, so after I do that, I then go ahead and I like to apply the facial Mario Bades Mario Badesco skincare facial spray with aloe vera, cucumber and green tea. This it has a cooling boost of hydration and it leaves skin refreshed and revitalized. Just spray it like that. That's really it. And then I just let that absorb. I then go ahead and apply my very last product. Actually, this is my second last product, which is a Polar Night Revitalizing Cream with Boreal Algae. This is what I use. And I got this from my Birch Box a while ago. And I have been loving this product for quite some time. This is actually a travel moisturizer that I bring with me when I go, you know, abroad or on a holiday. But because it is pandemic world at the moment, I can't use it for traveling. So yeah, so what I do is I like to apply moisturizer all over my forehead. I just did it there. And then around my nose, like this. And then the side of my mouth. Like that. And then I like to put it on my jawline and then the sides of my face and then just the tip of my nose right here because I get very skin, like dry skin around that area. I try to avoid this part of my face. It's because I have really oily skin around that area as well. That's where my pores are. So the very last product that I use is the Balance Me Congested Skin Serum and this is what it is. I got this from Birchbox as well. Now I use this if I have spots, visible spots. So I have a spot right here. So what I do is I put a little bit, okay, that's a bit much. I put a little bit on the back of my hand. Better to use a Q-tip to take a product and apply on your spot, but I don't wanna waste a Q-tip. So I just use my pinky finger and I apply it onto my visible humongous spots, which is pretty much everywhere on my face. I have it here. And I try to feel if I have any spots around my chin because my chin area has been getting a lot of spots lately and I'm not really sure why. So far so good. That's it. That is my night skincare routine. So that's the video for today. I hope that gave you an idea and I hope it was helpful. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. 